What's up everyone, Jason here today, and we're going to be doing the E-Tech 5 maintenance video. So before we begin, there is a lot of components and a lot of O-rings inside the E-Tech 5. What I'm going to do is, in this video, we're going to be showing you the ones that are most likely going to need the maintenance that might cause you problems. For example, we'll be talking about the ramrod or the rammer, the bolt, and the eyes. Those are the ones we're going to be covering the most today. Oh, and the ball detents. I apologize. So first of all, I do want to say thank you very much for Paintball Revolution for always making amazing products. This is the Apocalypse Gun Tech Mat, and it kind of reminds me of Gears of War. Good game, by the way. We also want to say thank you very much for Pooty Paintball for walking us through and making it easy to purchase some of their Magic Lube V2. Stuff smells pretty good too. And I do want to say that Paintball Revolution and Pooty Paintball do set the set the bar 100% when it comes to paintball customer service. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I do have a little bit of a head cold, so I do apologize. So for any gun maintenance procedure. You would always want to do a gun mat or a old towel laying around. Definitely use a microfiber. This is a dual sided. Stay away from normal towels or bathroom towels or even paper towels because the microscopic material or lint or thread can get stuck on the o-ring and it could cause some issues. The other thing I get asked a lot is how often should you do this? Okay, there's two answers for that. The actual real answer, which is every 20,000 shots. The other answer is when you get bored. I mean, try a week or a week and two days or even two weeks before you're going to go paintball. Remove the parts you need in maintenance. Get familiar with your marker. You know, we're... Especially on, on our YouTube channel, we're always here to help if you have an issue. Also, our Facebook page. Find us, like us. You can actually write us comments and we get back to you a little faster. I'm not going to lie. <coughs> Excuse me. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and examine the bolts. Now, the bolts are actually probably the easiest thing to maintenance on a poppet. Not a spool, not a dump, but on a poppet. Take the bolt. And just, you know, kind of clean it. That's, that's kind of it. Now, with some of these bolt assemblies, if you're noticing you are getting a little bit of a bolt stick, you can put a very, very, very small amount of lube on these O-rings just to help. So we're going to show you how much is a very, very, very small amount. I mean, that's, that's it. I mean hardly has anything but there's something on there so just dab dab and then just rub it in sorry about that excuse me and the one cool thing you're going to notice if you do decide to get some of the pooties magic lube v2 it doesn't even look like there's anything on there which i think is a pretty cool little feature and we're going to set that to the side so let's go ahead and work on now People call this a rammer. I've always called it a ramrod. That's just me. Terminology is different. I apologize. So take the Allen key. Now the E-Tech 5 is not spring loaded. It does not have any kind of mechanism within the ram to actually make it go flying out. So you don't have to worry about it. As long as the gun is degassed, please, please do any maintenance without a tank on. Make sure the marker is degassed to be safe. Now, you can try this, but it ain't going to come out. So what you want to do, take an Allen, and we're going to try to get this on the camera. Take an Allen key, drop it down. Be careful, of course. You don't want to scratch it. Find the poppet, and just slowly push. That will take the poppet out. We'll set the marker off to the side. So same thing, take an Allen, or I'm not Allen, I'm sorry, a microfiber, and just kind of, you know, go to town, clean it up. Clean off any debris, any excess, anything you can see to make this just overall cleaner. 
once you have your component or your assembly, whatever you want to call these, clean. Next step you want to do, now this is how I maintenance my markers. You don't have to do it this way, but it's worked the best for me throughout all these years. Get some lube on your finger, and like I said, you don't need a lot, especially the mag the Pudi Magic Lube. It's a very nice lubricant. You don't need to get like a whole finger's worth. Put a dab on each placement of the O-rings. Then actually begin to spin it, almost like a corkscrew. And like I said, this is all about preference. This is what I've done for all my years of paintballing. And what this is doing is it's removing any globs. It's helping to dissipate the lubricant evenly. So you're not sitting there and like one O-ring's consuming all the lube while the others aren't getting anything. Believe it or not, we're done. It is literally that easy to lube and maintain parts of your marker. So, we're going to put it back into the gun, or the marker, I'm sorry. Now make sure that the part with the massive notch goes toward the breech. Now you can drop it in, but it's not going to go. So just take an Allen and slowly push it in. Don't force it. Never force any part of a paintball marker. Now, the back cap has one O-ring right there. You can't see it, but it's, it's there. So same thing, we'll take the microfiber and just kind of you know, clean it off a little bit. And take a little bit of Pootie's Magical Lube, and I mean a little bit. And just, you know, same thing. Just do a corkscrew method and rub it all about. Let's go ahead and get it lined up. Take our Allen, and we'll screw it in. Now, whenever you're putting a bat cap on, or a rammer cap, or anything, once you get it to the point that it's snug and it stops, just give it a little... Nice little friendly move. That is it. Do not torque them down. Now what we're going to do is with the E-Tech 5, you got to be a little careful with this. The eye cover is underneath the grip. So you are going to want to remove the grips the first couple times you do this until you get familiar. And I'll show you why in a minute. The reason why is the eye cover actually comes down and protrudes underneath the grip. Once you get familiar with doing this, once you get comfortable with doing this, you can actually put it in at an angle and move the rubber a little bit. But your first couple times, I recommend this. So we'll take the eye cover screw off and we'll take the plate. When you remove these plates, do the same thing. Get the microfiber and just Clean them off in the inside. Make sure there's no paint. Because if paint gets on here, it can then get onto your eyes. And then you're wondering why your marker is not working no more. Now, with your eyes or your brake beam sensors, take the microfiber and just slowly wipe it. That's all you have to do. You don't have to sit there and force it. You can use the microfiber, you can use a Q-tip, either or will work. With the laser eye out of the way, take the microfiber and clean where it sits. Get any debris you can out of the way. Very, very important. So, moving on to the ball detents. There's two ways you can get a ball detent out. You can get a spring hook and pop it out, or... Stick your finger down the breech and slowly move it out. So, the E-Tech 5 uses a rubber garment ball detent. 
Now this is universal, so you can put it in that way, you can spin it around, make it flip, anything. It's not going to affect how you put it in, as long as you put it in. Now these, just kind of, you know, rub them off. That's all you have to do. Now, when you are using your ball, or when you are cleaning your ball tea tents, look at them. You want to make sure that you still have that nice groove on top. Now within time, that groove is going to begin to dissipate. It's going to begin to break down. My rule of thumb, if it looks iffy, replace it. It's going to save you. These ball, dents, these ball detents are designed to keep your ball in place so they don't roll down your barrel causing a false shot. Please keep that in mind. Once you have it clean, just put it back where it belongs. Voila, problem solved. Now we go ahead and we line up the eyes. We move the grip out of the way, so please take that in consideration. Put that right on. Now the one thing you're going to notice too, just as a side note, is the eye screws are the same size as the grip. So you don't have to worry about accidentally getting them wrong. If you want to be really specific, it doesn't matter, just to let you guys know. So we'll put the eye cover screw in. Tighten that down. The same thing, like I said, you don't want to torque, you know, your Allen key, your Allen screws down. Just get them snug. Same thing, just get them nice and snug. You don't want to cause too much pressure. You don't want to destroy them. Same thing. Sorry, my hand was in the way. Okay, so then once that's done, we want to put the bolt in. We're going to show you a trick when it comes to the bolt. Hold your marker. With your free hand, position where the notch is on the bolt. Or, I'm sorry, in the ramrod. Take your bolt, push it in, and right when your line's up, push it down. Look at that. We're totally in. So, very easy maintenance on the E-Tech 5. Very simple. Like I said, definitely be careful. Take your time. Try to do this before you play or every 20,000 shots. Now, like we mentioned, we do know there's a lot of o-rings in the regulator you want to stay away from the regulator and the HPR unless it's an absolute must then you can later on we're gonna be doing a more in-depth video on the regulator but at the time being this is you can call the simple maintenance of the e-tech 5 now the final step I'm gonna recommend anytime you get done maintenance maintenance your marker put a tank on Turn on the board, turn off the eyes, go out back, cover the barrel, do whatever you can, and shoot it. What that's going to do is any excess lube that is glunked up or stuck is going to come out of the marker and shoot down the barrel. That will help you so that then when you go to the field, you're not, putting, you're not coating your paintball with lubricant. It can be done. After you get done dry firing, clean your barrel. And a nice trick to clean your barrel, let them soak in hot water for about five minutes. Take them out, air dry them, then cut a small piece of microfiber, put it in the barrel, and with your squeegee or a long straw, something that's sturdy, push the microfiber down, you will have an immaculately clean barrel. Nice little trick for you. So, other than that, Check us out on our Facebook page. Just go to Facebook and type in Jason Wright. You can't miss me. Like our videos, comment. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you, have our, if you like our Facebook page, leave a comment on our page. Send me a private message. We are definitely here to help you understand the sport and have fun. So other than that, I 
still again, we want to thank Pootie Paintball and Paintball Revolution for having some of the best customer service in the market. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate everybody. This is Jason Wright, the YouTube guy, with the E-Tech 5 Simple Maintenance video. Thank you.